Hi friends, welcome to day 23 of Advent. It is almost over. Day 23 brings us the most asked question during our viewer related questioning. They basically all involve reading more. Uh, Stig Deardall asked how to fit reading into a procrastinator schedule. A bookish obsession asked advice on how to read more. Uh, Hudson McCarthy asked how many read so many books? How do you read on stream? So let's talk reading. First off, if you are part of the ableist trash who believe that audiobooks are not reading, just leave now because this video is not for you. Cool. All right, now that the ableist trash is gone, let's continue. I feel like how do I read books? How do you fit books into a schedule? And how do you read more books? All is the same answer. I read a lot of audiobooks. And that comes down to I do a lot of cooking, cleaning and driving. So whenever I'm cooking, cleaning or driving, I'm listening to an audiobook. There are people who believe that reading with your ears is not reading. I disagree. Like you're taking in the information it's knowledge, you're processing it. I don't know why that's not, I, I don't know why that's not considered reading. That would be the same as like saying if I turn on a French movie and I have to read subtitles, then I didn't watch a movie, I read a movie. No, in fact, I did watch a movie. I don't understand the concept. Like, I don't know. I don't know why people don't think it's reading, but it, it again, it's ableish garbage and I just can't stand for it. Audiobooks definitely help and audiobooks are super expensive and so I highly recommend using like your Libby app from your library. There is also Hoopla that runs through your library. Um, Scribd which says it's unlimited but is not unlimited. It's like $8.99 a month and usually you'll get about two books a month for that. You can get more but like newer releases you're typically only going to get two and then everything else you may get more than that of. So it's unlimited. The library, using the Libby app through the library, you'll have to wait sometimes for a book but you will be put on a wait list just like you are at the library and you will get the book. Hoopla doesn't have a wait list but they don't have the same selection as they have through Libby but I have found that most audiobooks, unless there's some kind of like an Amazon exclusive through Audible, you can get from either Hoopla, Libby, or Scribd. And if you are against Amazon and you don't like Audible, I highly recommend Libro FM. Libro FM goes through your local bookstore. So like my local bookstore is Wheatberry and I have a Libro FM account where it is like a subscription, a monthly subscription like Audible, but it goes through my local bookstore. So Wheatberry gets the, gets a percentage of what I buy from Libro FM versus it going to Amazon. Do I also have an Audible account? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Audiobooks. Um, there are a lot of people that talk about like um, always having a, like an ebook on your phone so you have time to like sit down and read if you've got five minutes here or there. That's not helpful for me. I if I have like a couple of minutes to kill, I'm not typically going to read an audiobook or an ebook. I'm going to like play a game on my phone or something. I'm not even going to waste the time to get try to get into the book only to be pulled out of it 20 seconds later. It's not my jam. Um, I, if I am trying to read a lot and I'm doing like, uh, like a readathon or something, I will typically make myself go to bed like an hour earlier and take the book with me to bed and read for an hour. I also like to read in the mornings before I get out of bed on the weekend. Like especially if I'm, I know I'm gonna have like a lazy day, um, I'll take a book to bed with me and whenever I get up in the morning, like before I even get out of the bed and do anything, I'll just sit and read for a few hours. Um, cause I already know I'm gonna have a lazy day and like if I get up out of that bed and I walk into the rest of the house, I'm gonna be like on my phone or on YouTube or doing something. So like I'll just stay in bed and read. I take my book to bed with me so that I don't have to get out of bed in the morning. That helps. But really the key is audiobooks. That's how I do what I do. Um, how do I read on a stream? I think you, it really, you really have to, it's the same as like writing on stream. Rather than hanging out in the comments or doing something else, like clicking into another video to watch another video for 20 minutes while people are writing, you really just have to have the discipline to open your book and read it, so. All right, y'all, let's get to today's Creator Spotlight. Day 23 is Wally Simo. So Wallace is amazing. She does both writing and planning related videos. She does sprints, she does vlogging, she makes timers. She made the timers for the World Wide Write-a-thon. 
Like, she helped a girl out, for sure. Wallace dies, um, <laughs> it's like this perfect grouping of people and I don't know how it happened. During the last Worldwide ride a -thon, it just like magically happened together that uh, Devesha from Grape Fry, Wallace, uh, Katie Ann and Stig Deardall all ended up like on the same live stream together and like that group of people are the best group of people to watch. They do live streams together usually outside of my time zone because it's when I'm at work on weekdays and it breaks my heart but I do like to I don't watch a lot of playback on live streams. It's not really my thing but I will watch theirs because they are hilarious. I love them. The four of them together are amazing. So if you're already watching Grape or Katie, you're not watching Stig because Stig doesn't have a channel. But if you watch me, Stig and I are the same girl. So like, you know, two girls, one brain. And so if you like any of us, you will definitely like Wallace. Uh, it's definitely like, definitely the group of people to watch. So check out Wallace, give her a subscribe, hang out. She's a fun time. That's gonna be it for me today. If you don't want to miss the last two days of Advent, Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.